had such a great time working with these young horn players. They are all incredibly musical. They love what they do. Everybody had little something that I could help fix, which is good because otherwise, what's the point of coming if everybody's perfect? No horn players are any time perfect, but we, we have a great time trying to fix the, the problems that we have. Nestes dias nós tivemos o prazer de ter aqui a professora Sara Willis a trabalhar connosco. E tem sido absolutamente incrível. Obviamente a recepção não apenas dos alunos, mas do público que esteve ontem no concerto foi espetacular, foi apoteótica, posso dizer mesmo. E é muito agradável, porque de facto a Sarah Willis é uma referência a nível mundial, eu acho, por todas as razões, não é? por ela ser muito extrovertida, por ser também, eu diria, quase que a cara da Filarmónica de Berlim, obviamente que a Filarmónica de Berlim, pelo seu estatuto, fala por si, mas tendo a Sarah Willis como uma grande promotora, é uma mais-valia, não é? E, e de facto receber lá aqui e trabalhar com ela é absolutamente incrível, é uma pessoa é, muito é, ativa, muito dócil, muito fácil de, de, de lidar e, e tem sido absolutamente incrível e uma aprendizagem maravilhosa, creio eu, não apenas para os alunos, mas também para nós, em todos os sentidos. Obviamente. Acho que é uma excelente oportunidade uh, de conhecer uma figura emblemática e icónica e que fez tanto pelo e continua a, a divulgar tanto o, o, a trompa no, no mundo musical. E portanto é uma oportunidade única para, para ter um, um input por parte de alguém tão com tanta experiência e com, com tanto conhecimento. For me, a masterclass is not just about the person playing. It's a whole event for everybody here. I've been to very boring masterclasses in my life where the teacher only talked to the player playing. And for me, I think it's great to include everybody so that we all leave this weekend having a feeling that we've been in something together. So practicing attacks are so important, and this is good to put into your warm-up to get the tongue and the coordination, the, 
da, da. Okay? Because that's really one of the hardest things about horn playing, is going da when the conductor goes da. Yeah. You know? It's really, and that's what will pay your house and your car and your girlfriends and your boyfriends and whatever. Yeah. You know? Going da. Not going ba 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 No, going da. You know? And that's the hardest part of horn playing. E o maior ensinamento que tiro daqui hoje é talvez a forma que ela ensina as pessoas, a forma que ela a garra que ela tem para ensinar os outros. Eu acho que ela em si gosta muito daquilo que faz. Eu gostei muito da, da parte humana que a professora nos mostrou, porque ela falou sobre o nervosismo em orquestra, não se sentir bem em tocar certos, certos tipos de peças a solo, e acho que isso é uma ideia que nós não temos dos músicos profissionais, dos nossos ídolos, achamos que eles são quase robôs, e quando vemos alguém que admiramos a falar desses problemas que toda a gente sente, Uh, é importante, eu, eu gostei de, de saber isso da parte dela. I travel a lot and I hear many different styles of horn playing and there are some schools that are different from other schools but basically we horn players we all want to do the right thing. We want to make a good sound, we want to get the notes and we want to make music and we want to love what we are doing. I find that the more unique people are, the more I love to listen to them. I love it when I hear someone do, doing something different. And this is the best thing about music, is that no two players are the same. I think for me, masterclasses are about not changing somebody's technique or changing the way they play or the way they see music in a masterclass. It's impossible to do that in one weekend. For me, it's about giving a little piece of advice here and there to help the player on their way. Not saying that my advice is always the right way. There are many different theories, there are many different schools, but I hope that what I say, the students can take away and, and see if it works for them, if it works for them great, if it doesn't, that's okay. The main rule of horn playing, of any brass playing or any instrument, always make the best sound you can. And all we can say are little tips and hints, and, but you have to listen to your own sound and decide what makes that best sound. So if you like... Side. I prefer, of course, the bigger sound, and then I, I try and imitate a sound a student makes, and most of the time it's because they're too tight here and too tight here. Yeah? That's why it's such a big part of my teaching to... Temos mesmo de aproveitar aquilo que estamos a fazer, aproveitar mesmo a música, gostar da música que estamos a fazer. Isso é, mais, é o mais importante, não é propriamente não falhar notas, não falhar coisas, é estar mesmo à vontade e estar em palco e gostar realmente do que estamos a fazer. It's hard to give just one piece of advice because I have many pieces of advice and I try and give the best advice to the person I am teaching, not just the horn player, but for the person. Dificilmente em meia hora de trabalho alguém consegue explicar tudo aquilo que cada um de nós precisa para poder levar o caminho para a frente, mas é deixar uma semente, foi aquilo que ela disse, 
Uh, e é aquilo que, que eu também costumo dizer aos, aos meus alunos. Eu, uh, no trabalho convosco numa aula, sou um orientador que vos guia para determinado... E depois depende de vocês. E aqui é precisamente a mesma coisa. É isso que ela está a fazer. É deixar uma sementinha, é deixar-lhes as ideias. E depois, obviamente, que cada um de nós, cada um dos alunos, tem que uh, trabalhá-las e uh, exponenciar aquilo que ela, que ela diz. Acho que basicamente é isso. Se, se não o fizer, é não aproveitar aquilo que é, que é feito, porque, de facto, uh, o, o pouco tempo de trabalho que há é isso que se tem que reter e é isso que se tem que depois levar para a frente e, e, e trabalhar para evoluir. very loud in a horn section, the low horns, and you know, three of you against four, you, you need to stay round, and, and you should be a little bit bigger. The first horns do not have to go ba ba ba. First, the, the high horns will sound better if they play a little less than the first, than the low horns, you know? So if the first one's going ba ba, and a little bit more at the bottom, and a little bit less at the top. It should never be a ba ba ba. Bar, always a big, noble sound. Yeah? And in general, that, that's a rule. I find on, the, on low horn, my job is to round the sound of the firsts or the thirds when they're going absolutely crazy, you know? And then if they're going zzzz, then I try to go whoo, you know? And that's just how the, how the section balances. So keep it beautiful, even if it's big, you know? Never that. And I know it's hard. I mean, I couldn't play that, so really, well done. <laughs> When you're studying, it's good, it's good not to specialize too much until you know the direction you want to go in. But to be a good high horn player, you have to practice in the low range, and to be a good low horn player, you have to practice in the high range. And Stefan practices his low notes, and I have to practice my high notes. I will never be a high horn player like Stefan, and he will never play the low notes, by, but he's, he's pretty good in the low range. good to go back to a piece even if you know it very well to make sure you have it in your DNA you know and not krea. every time you do a krea when you're practicing you go back you play three times perfectly yeah just because when we practice we are teaching our body what to do so if we go krea, the body thinks oh, okay the next time we go krea as well because that's what we learned so when you're practicing be very strict with yourself, you know, and correct every little thing because you're very good and it's worth it. Nobody is not going to get a job because they missed the high B flat, yeah? It's, we think we have to get, of course it's nice if we get it, but if you don't, and you play the rest of it great. You know, it's true, isn't it? One, always make the best sound you can. It's very important. Two, use your air as best you can. And three, love what you are doing. This is so important to show what we, is what we do is what we love. We play the horn because we love what we do, we love this instrument. So it's important not just to play the notes on the page, but to show this love, and no matter what piece you're playing, to bring the music out and share it with the audience. But the most important thing for me in these masterclasses is that everybody goes away from the masterclass feeling they love the horn even more than they did before they came. And then I feel I've done my job.
Já está a gravar ou? Já está a gravar. Ah, já está.